If you have not been paying close attention to the George Zimmerman murder trial in Florida, which concerns the death of teenager Trayvon Martin, even if you have not been paying close attention to the trial, you have probably been aware that it has been going on and that a lot of people have been finding the trial absolutely riveting for weeks now. You should now know that it is all coming to an end, and no matter how it ends, it is going to be a very big deal. So uh, here's the deal to understand. In terms of the time frame here, uh, the prosecution made its closing arguments today. The defense, which represents Mr. Zimmerman, the defense rested its case yesterday after calling four days of witnesses, but they will start their closing arguments tomorrow. There will be a time for a rebuttal after that closing argument, but then the judge will instruct the jury, and then the jury will get the case. The jury will start to deliberate. Uh, to, today, the, the judge presiding in the case ruled that the jury will be allowed to consider two different charges, second-degree murder or manslaughter, which is a lesser charge, uh, when they deliberate. If convicted of the greater of the two charges, second degree murder, the maximum penalty for Mr. Zimmerman would be life in prison. If he's convicted of manslaughter, the maximum penalty is 30 years in prison. And of course, if Mr. Zimmerman is found not guilty on both charges, he will be free to go. But again, in terms of the timing of this trial that has been the focus of so much attention and so much debate, it looks like the jury is going to get the case as early as tomorrow afternoon. Now. Interestingly, it is not a jury of 12 people. It is a jury of six, and all six members of the jury are women. Uh, since they were picked, the jury has been sequestered. In court, they have remained completely anonymous. They have only been referred to by number, so we know some things about them from jury selection, but not a lot. In terms of specific timing as to when to expect a verdict, the truth is that nobody really knows. The jury can deliberate for a very short time or for a long time, we won't know till it happens. And of course, more importantly, nobody knows what to expect the verdict to be. But in a case where every minute of the trial has been televised, occasionally by all national news networks at once, live, nobody taking commercial breaks, everybody watching this thing has an opinion or a belief as to how this thing should turn out. And no matter what the verdict is, it is going to be a big deal when it happens. And the earliest it could have conceivably happen is late tomorrow once the jury is handed the case tomorrow afternoon. So keep that timing in mind and watch this space. And that does it for us tonight. We will see you again tomorrow night. Now it is time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Have a great night.